got storylines with Philly, obviously with Embiid. He's a he's great in front of the mic. Uh, he's got game to back it up. Ben Simmons, I mean, a rookie out here, a redshirt rookie out here, getting triple doubles. Um, so you've got storylines behind Philadelphia. But, I mean, them going into Miami and winning two road games, you're seeing a young team grow up in front of our eyes. Yeah, they're fun. Right? I mean, that's a hostile environment. And you talk about two teams not liking one another. <laughs> I mean, come on. Why that is it? That is a, the very definition why don't we get um, that comparison with Ben Simmons with Magic Johnson? I, I know it sounds blasphemous, but we're always trying to find the next Michael. I think we have the next Magic, or at least as close as possible. I, I don't see him as LeBron. I see him more as as Magic. It, but we don't we don't we don't go there. Why is that? Because uh, Magic wasn't a great shooter. He became a a better knockdown shooter, but. He did, but his rookie year, though, he could score a little bit better than what Simmons does. Simmons can score. First of all, we don't know what hand Ben Simmons is. Is he left-handed or right-handed? <laughs> we knew Magic Johnson was right-handed. <laughs> and then maybe that's credit to Ben Simmons. Maybe he's fooling us all. Well, you forget but, uh, just how great Magic was that rookie season. But, you know, Ben, ben Simmons has lived up to the hype, and that's hard to do given the hype that we, uh, we, we heap on these kids. And it kind of – you know, harkens back to Matthew Johnson's rookie year when Kareem went down in the yeah. finals versus Philadelphia and who had to run point center uh, on their way to the title. That's kind of what Simmons has done. Uh, I know that Embiid has played the last couple games, but if you look over the last month while Embiid was out, it was all Ben Simmons. Yeah. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.